What is up YouTube? Speedplay right here coming at you with my first live unboxing video in a long long time guys. So what I have here, something I've never opened before um, unboxing or not, is a, a case of 10 Dawn of Param starter decks. I found this online at a store near me um, at a reasonable price and I figured uh, why not. So um, it's got five, you can see right there, five overworld and five underworld starter decks. Uh, now the reason you get starter decks besides just adding to your collection, in case some of you don't know, is there are some cards that are starter deck exclusive. Um, now Chaotic is no notorious for lack of quality control, so um, in certain starter deck runs you only get certain cards, but I've seen videos of people opening uh, other starter decks and other boxes like this and getting cards that aren't supposed to be in those runs, so I'm not 100% sure what we could or couldn't get in here. Um, all I know is I really want Haptad and a few other things. So this box is still in the shrink wrap. Let's crack it open. I was surprised I was able to find this near me, um, and I was surprised it was as moderately priced as it was. Um, I didn't have to pay for shipping either because I was able to drive to the store. So that was a nice one. Alrighty. So, from what I've seen, this is supposed to flip open. Um, okay, there we go. Alright, that's nice. That's the thing I like about chaotic boxes. They all have this like fun way to open the box. Okay, so as you can see, five of each, and get a better shot of this. That's pretty sweet. Just looking at that right now. Okay, so this might take a little while, guys, because I'm just going to be doing this by hand. I'm not sure if I'll be able to speed this up in post. Um, so it does say first edition there, um, and what that means, from what I understand, I just took a couple of my Ripple cards that I have. So I've got Von Blut and uh, Windstrider. So the Ripple is that nice shine you see. Um, the sleeve is a bit bent, so that's part of the shine. Um, but you can see it's got the nice color, and then it's also got... Let me zoom in there. Uh, it's got this symbol here, the the I or the one. That's what you get when you get these um, original set cards. Like I, I have um, a Drachnus that I pulled in 2007, as well as a bunch of other cards, and they all have this symbol. I just grabbed some other cards. So this Ever Rain also has the symbol. I apologize if there's any pet noises in the background. I'm stuck at home, same as Russell. So, let's pop this boy open. It's always got these stickers on the sides, which are the most annoying. I just have to do this off screen. I don't want to damage the box, but if I have to, so be it. Although they are really nice boxes when they're still fresh. I kept a couple of my old, just the starter deck boxes. And the cardboard is shiny too. I don't know if that was the case in the original, like when I was first getting these when I was a kid. Um, Alright, so got the playmat, got the rule book. I've got too many of these. Don't really care about that. Let's go on the floor. Um, now I have to be careful when opening these because I don't want to spoil the rares without putting them in a sleeve first and there's this annoying shrink wrap. So I apologize if this video goes long. Um, feel free to skip to the end if you just want to see the polls. I'm going to be recapping everything obviously. Um, but if you want to see my reaction live, if we get something cool, then stay tuned. Dear God. There's no parts... Okay, there it is. They really wrap these tightly, so there's no, like, plastic sticking out to get a grip on.
Okay, so I just need to see which way is which. So from the middle. Okay, so that means these three, or this one, or something is my rear. What the heck is this? Do they do these backwards? Oh my god. Okay, so this is a rare. Starter, starter. Okay, so then these two are rares. Um, if you're hearing that noise too, that is my cat, but I cannot let him in here. So, I'm putting these, what I'm doing, I'm holding these backwards to myself, just putting them in a sleeve. And then I will return and reveal it to the camera. Although I accidentally just saw one. But it's not a big deal. Okay, so, first one of ten. Okay. I can see the print's a bit off there. Okay, Ekud. I'm not going to read off the stats and stuff. You guys can see that. We got Ekud. Power Pulse. Oh, this does have the first edition. Okay. I'd seen somewhere it didn't have that. And a Drachnus. Cool. Third Drachnus. Okay, so this is a Ripple foil box. I thought I wasn't going to get any Ripples. All right. That's nice. You can never have too many ripples. Okay, that's there. And then I'm just going to have a million cannon of casualties and such after this. It's Skeletal Seed, I don't see... I think I have a second one. But yeah. I'm going to put this aside. Okay. I'm not sure... I think we'll alternate over under over under um i really like this shiny cardboard <laughs> oh good the sticker was loose it's tough to open these without crinkling the box but i want to keep some of these boxes in good shape just because i have the I have the very first starter deck I ever opened, um, yeah, in like 2007 or 2008, uh, but it's all crunched and torn, but I keep it for uh, nostalgia's sake, because I remember my parents took us to the mall, me and my brother, and we got our first decks, and then we only had... We didn't get more cards for a while, so we would just play starter deck matches. We didn't really know what we were doing, but it was still enjoyable. Um, okay, so if that previous pack is what's going on here, then... Okay, this is a rare than one, and then the last two on the back are also rare. Because if I flip Overworld... Oh, no, I've been duped. You guys just got that spoiled. I'm not sure what that was. We'll quickly sleeve. I just don't want to pull an ultra and have it sitting around without a sleeve and me touching it more than I have to. Um, and then these are just sleeves for right now and then anything that's really good will go get uh, a proper chaotic sleeve. I feel like there shouldn't be four rares, um, unless I got lucky. Um, but I feel like one of these is just a random common card or something. We'll see in a moment. Um, I sh oh, this sleeve is crinkled. I should have posted a link in the description of this video. It has um, a list of the uh, link to the forum where they mentioned the starter deck exclusives, which I was looking at. So let's see what we get here. Okay. So, Mount Pillar, that's fine. Orb of Foresight, that's fine. Song of Asperity, okay. Okay, so I got four rares from one. You saw that, Q&A. Uh, all right, Ripple Takinam. Stats are okay, I'm not up. 85 speed seems good. I'm not up on Takinam stats or what they're supposed to be. Um, but that's, that's a nice value add. Four rares. Uh, okay, back to... 
Underworld. I, th I, I can check later. I think they did have Ripple cardboard before, but that's really great. It's a shame because it's just, yeah, just leaving it like this is really nice form. Looks really great. Feels really nice too. It's very smooth. But that's not what we're after. I'm after the Ultras I don't have, the Supers I don't have. I don't have Glacier Plains or Wooden Pillar. I'm not sure. I think one of those for sure can get in starters. Um, I'm not sure about the other one. I have to toss those on the floor, unfortunately. Um, I'm not sure if these are... Oh, are these 10v10 playmats? Because I broke my... Or I tore my old one. Let's see. It's not double-sided. Oh, alright. I'm not going to unfold the whole thing, but it's got four spots there at the front, as you can see. So that means it is a 10v10 mat, which is great. Um, you can never have too many 10v10 mats. Especially um, uh, when I was able to go to other people's houses and play friends. It's fun when everybody can use a 10v10 mat, so that's great. I had seen another video um, opening a box like exactly the same as this one, except the mats weren't 10v10. So maybe it wasn't a first edition box. Okay, so these are the cards in the middle. That's a rare card. And then I guess we'll try these last three. So one, two, three. I don't think it should happen again. Um, let me double check the previous one I already opened. Oh, crap, there was an additional rare. I always thought it was two rares and then you're like super rare. Um, but let me just show you here. I got another Kiru City from the the first box we opened, and then we check the second one. We'll double check right now. Maybe I'm just misremembering how much they're supposed to be. Okay, so these this one doesn't have any more rares. Um, I think I have all the straight up rares in Dawn of Param. It's just supers and ultras I'm missing. So that's nice. I think I only had the one, or I had two Kiru City. So, yeah, never have too much of those. Um, at this current rate I'm going, I'm trying not to talk too much. I feel like this video is going to end up being like over 40 minutes, and I apologize. I wasn't sure if I should uh, pre-open some of these, like just cut the stickers, um, but I just wanted to do the full unboxing. Okay, so once again, Power Pulse. That's fine. Ekud, I guess these guys go together. Geoflourish, that's cool. Riverland Star, okay. I think I already had two Ripple, but that's not bad. Um, so right now, we're three for three in Supers. I guess it's a guaranteed Super per box. Um, I wasn't sure if that was the case. Um, but uh, three things I already have, so... Not complaining, but I'd like to get something new. Maybe an ultra. And I was looking into getting some boosters, but the price for boosters, uh, booster boxes, booster packs in general, has just skyrocketed in the last year, year and a half. So it was way more efficient to just buy this box. I'm getting 10 starter decks. Buying them solo on eBay is not even worth it, and for the price I paid for these, I think I would have gotten like like 20 or less um, booster packs from the prices I was seeing. So it was kind of a no-brainer. Okay, I've almost mastered opening these shrink-wrapped cards. I have to use the top. Um, let me bring my pile of sleeves closer. Okay. So, once again, 
These are the middle cards, so this is a rare. And then go to the back. One, two, three rares. I apologize if you're hearing the cat in the background. I remember, I think a few years ago, I opened the Dawn of Param starter. Um, I haven't watched that video in a while, so I'll go back and see if I was also getting... Hope you didn't see that card. If I was also getting three rares in the Super or Ultra. I don't remember. Okay, I've call. Cool. Class. Class has 70 energy? What? That's insane. 95 power? That's insane. What? Dawn of Param 70 energy? Cyclants? Lavalanche. Okay, I did not have a Lavalanche, so that's a good step. Um, this this cycle of cards: Lavalanche, Hailstorm, Sludge Gush, Toxic Gust. I don't think I have any. I think my brother has this, but uh, that's good. That's good. I didn't have this one. Okay, we are four down, six to go. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure. I think on the website I bought them on, the description did say first edition, but you never know with Chaotic Steel product, like really what you're gonna get until you open it, obviously. Um, you don't know what kind of like weird stuff's gonna be going on. Maybe there's gonna be misprints. Maybe it's not gonna be the correct edition. Um, I've heard what some wild stories. I've seen some strange cards. Um, why is there a stain on this card? Okay, so those are the color cards. So I guess the top one is always like the the ultra or the super, so careful with that. And then one, two, three, although really I don't care about the back cards, but that's fine. I remember before I bought my previous or when I bought my second set of Dawn Param Stars, it was Mostly just because I didn't have a second can of casualty or discard of disarming or like song of resurgence because you can only get those in starters. And I was building decks with like searing symphony and stuff, which is you know okay, but you really need double cannon if you're running burn. Um, even when I was just playing casually, so that was a big help. It really would have been cheaper if I just bought a can of casualty online for like five dollars or less, but why not just get the whole thing? Um, really hoping for something sweet. Really, really want something sweet. Okay. I've, I think I just revealed the card. Um, Power Pulse again. Echo, those two go together. Okay, Ripple Web Crack. Oop. Bit out of frame there. Okay, so these two. I have two or three Ripple. Ri that's hard to say. Ripple Web Cracks already, so that's fine. Um, and then Kiru again. So guaranteed one super per deck here. Um, I wouldn't mind another Von Blut or Heptad. Heptad would be really good. I wouldn't mind a Wind Strider. I only have one. Um, as I assume most collectors are, if you don't have something, you want it. If you only have one of something, you want another of those. And then once you get to like three or four or five of something, you don't want to see it ever again. But that's the way it goes. And I haven't read these rule books in a while. I think it's all mostly correct. It's just so much stuff gets added, and this rule book like doesn't really answer any in-depth questions. So once you understand the basics of the game, the rule book is mostly useless.
Okay, so I'll try to be more careful in case I've been putting things out of frame or I've been revealing cards. So these three are the back. So this is the, this is the front. All right. Um, oh, there's two cards in front. I don't know if one of them is just a bronze rare or if I'm getting two supers. We'll put those there. Um, and then we'll check the back separately. One, two, three. And then that should be that. Okay, so there's no rares left in here. So, I don't know what's going on with these two, but we'll look at these three first. They're just going to be the, like power pulses or whatever. I'm, I'm really concerned what this is. I'm curious. <laughs> just got my penny sneeze. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed we get something good. I want some, I want some new stuff. Because... Okay, Staluk. Right on. Damar. What? This has to be a misprint. That cannot be right. Damar cannot have 75 power. I'm gonna check the stats later. That that cannot be right. What? That makes no sense. I've I have I either have or I've seen Don Parent Donmar. He does not have 75 power. That's insane. I was not aware of this misprint. Um and then Ario, who's a royal. But he has 35 energy for some reason. Okay, so those are three plain old rares. I don't know what this could be. This is kind of bent, so I feel like that's a good sign. This one's also kind of bent, so I don't know what the deal is. I'm really... I, I'm concerned. Okay. Are we focused? Okay. So, reveal. Oh my god! Oh my... Holy crap! Oh my god, you guys saw this! Holy crap! You saw what just happened! You saw... Where's the box? This box... Oh, oh, jeez, I just revealed that. Oh my god. You saw what just happened. So, quick recap, in case you want to rewind. I just opened one box and pulled Heptad. Holy crap. That's holy crap enough. In that same box. Ugh, I really want to stop and get my good sleeves, but I didn't bring them because they're in the other room. In this same box, I'm freaking out. <laughs> in the same box, there's also a Ripple Maxor. From this one box of chaotic starter deck, Overworld. Good, good that was Overworld. I, I just pulled... On camera, a Ripple Maxor and a Heptad. I'm freaking out. This is like, okay, first of all, this is instantly my money back, like times two, with current prices. Second of all, I'm losing my mind. Oh, this sleeve is dirty. There's something. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Holy crap. Holy crap. Got Okay. Video over. Like, I don't need to open. It doesn't matter what's in the other boxes, unless it's this again. I, this is insane. I'm good. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna spend like five minutes on this, but like, I just need to freak out right now. You saw what just happened. That, like, I gotta stop doing that. That is insane. That is insane. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a lot of fun, um, talking to people about this. I'm gonna talk to people on the Discord about this before I upload. Actually, I should probably upload so I have proof, because otherwise they'll think I'm insane. But, you saw, I opened it, there was two at the front. The front card is the Ultra or the Super. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. It's like 3 a.m. right now. I might just go wake up my brother and tell him. This is the craziest thing. I'm so glad I did this on camera. I kind of wanted to just open it and like see what I get. This is actually insane. I'm not sure if I want this to be the thumbnail. Or I'll just make a different thumbnail, but like... If anybody had, has had any experience similar to this, like from when you were opening cards as a kid or recently, anything like this, like leave it in the comments. I remember, I think, you know, I've opened a booster pack or two, or my brother did, where there was two supers in a booster pack, but they were like, you know, nothing super, so maybe it was like one alternate super, but like, this is literal, like, cosmic impossibility. You could tell me, if you told me this would happen, 
I would bet you a billion dollars you're dead wrong. Like, this could never happen in any alternate reality anything. I Like, I don't believe what I'm holding. Let me just look at this guy for a second here. Holy crap. The, the wisdom is a bit faded. Um, yeah, that's insane. This is a ripple. Ripple Maxor. Ripple Heptad. Alright, I'm sorry I spent five minutes on this. This is insane. Um, I'm gonna make the thumbnail this, just so that this becomes my most viewed video ever. Um, I'm not sure what the title's gonna be, but this is absolute madness. Holy crap. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not, but like, wow, that's insane. That is absolutely bonkers. Oh, jeez. What? My, oh, if I got a Maxor... Okay, I've wanted Heptad for years. If I just pulled a Heptad right now, I'd be over the moon. I got a Heptad. I need to do it again. Just this boy alone. With my luck, I was for sure gonna get... My first Heptad that I pulled would have been uh, the misprint with only Fire and Earth. Not only do I get him, I get him in the same box as a Maxor. Alright, let's look at these stats first of all. So Heptad has 50 average and everything. So average power, speed, and energy, uh, above average courage, and minimum wisdom, but four elements on the card. That's freaking great. I'm sorry I don't have my, my good sleeves, I didn't think. Um, I really should have brought those down, I'm an idiot. But, oh my god, this is a good Maxor too. Gotta cover the code. This is an excellent Maxor. Average energy, max courage. Look at those stats. Um, I think that's minimum power, but who cares? It's got 90 wisdom. I'm not sure if that's average or large. Holy crap. All right, we got other boxes to open. My god. Absolute madness. Also, hold on a minute. You're not supposed to be able to get Maxor in these boxes. From the... if... Check the link below the, the this video, but I looked at it this afternoon, uh, before I opened this box. And it distinctly did not have Maxor in the list. That was my understanding. I looked at it like five times. And I was like, oh, Maxor's not in it. It's, um, it was supposed to be Heptad, Von Blute, Lake Kenpo, Lucky Shot, um, that really bad attack. And I think there was one more, but like, you know, there was nothing major besides Von Blute and Heptad. Those are the two big ones that I remember. Um, that's insane. I, like, this should never happen. Like, that's absolutely insane. I shouldn't even, there shouldn't even have been another card in there. What? I'm gonna go back and look at, um, other unboxings and see what the deal is, but like, what? It's insane. Alright, so... <laughs> Only one, sadly. There. It's insane. I probably just added the run time to this video by like 10 minutes, but I do not care. Absolute madness. After the year that I've had, and I'm sure we've all had, 2020, obviously it's a stupid card and who cares, um, but that's absolute madness. Um, I've watched uh, a few videos of people showing their collection, and I think I've got a decent collection, just objectively. Um, but, like, I get crazy jealous looking at other people's collections. These are only two cards, but, like, that this is on camera, I have irrefutable proof that this happened. Alright, so, let's see. This is the bent card, I think. I lost the order. Okay, so, Mount Pillar, that's fine. Song of Asperity. I apologize if things are constantly out of frame. Well, wow, okay, I grabbed the second card. That doesn't matter. Look at that, another Ultra. I apologize for the glare on the sleeve, but another Ultra, guys. Wow, this is amazing. One of the best pulls I ever had. Lake Hennepo, crossing that off the list. Been on my list for a long time. Um, great follow-up to the, the, the godly pull there of Maxor and Heptad. Um, I love this location. 
It's great just from the show, everything that happens here. It's cool. It's a Dawn of Parent Ultra. I get another Ripple. And the ability is pretty good too. Um, the errata to this is just, well, you know, those words work fine. Music may not be targeted. Um, but they've updated it to music is untargetable. So this uh, prevents music from being refrain of denialed. Or uh, you couldn't use the ability of Enemy Hap High Mew to this location, I think. Stuff like that. Um, just cool to have in the collection too. Excellent. Outstanding. Lovely. Um, I'm really disappointed in myself. I didn't grab my sleeves, but I didn't want to have to take things out of the penny sleeves and put them in uh, the good sleeves, because I'm lazy. Madness. I took it out, and you all saw there was two rares at the front. We've established that the, the front rare is going to be your super or your ultra. And there was two, and I was like, ah, chaotic. Bad quality management. Something silly. It's going to be like Screeth and a second Screeth or something. My wildest dreams. Like, okay, maybe in the very back of my subconscious. Like, huh, what if it's two ultras? But like, even my most wild predictions about Chaotix's poor quality management, of which I've seen and heard, would not have allowed for that to happen in this reality, in this life. But it did. Absolute madness. Okay. Um, these are the back, so... One, two, three, flip, and one card here. So that's the ultra, or the super. Um, I think Lorena, just on a side note, I think Lorena deserves a second version. She played a good role in the show a couple times. She saved uh, Tom and friends from Gigantopolis. I think she deserves a second version in Fire and Stone or Storm and Sea, but, you know, the cards would have already been decided. Another card, I think, deserves... Well, Seattle is... Um, he did get a second version. We have the art. We just don't know what the card does. Seattle was always one of my favorites. Uh, Peyton's my petty and friend, if you don't remember. Um, Jod got a good retrain in Secrets of the Lost City. Uh, Alliances Unraveled with uh, Dig Sight Defender, so that was good. Um, I think there was one more. Ubicune, uh from Don of Param. Um, he's another rare. I think we can get him here, or maybe he's only booster packs. Um, I always liked his ability. He can move anywhere on the board. It's just his stats and energy were not good, and he didn't have air, so it wasn't that useful. Okay, so this is the Super Ultra, so I'll put it at the back. And we flip. Okay, Screeth. Screeth, we just talked about you. Less time at the pool, more time at the gym. I don't want to reveal the card. Okay. Squeeth. Song of Stasis. Liquidizer. And Cross Actus. Okay. I have a ton of Cross Actuses. I was hoping for an OS. That's fine. He's an Elementalist, too. That's fine. Alright. Moving along. Booster number nine. Absolute madness, guys. I'm really glad. I, I don't remember exactly what I said in the moment. I flipped the max on the heptad, and then my mind just kind of went, what? I was really focused on the the four elements. Like, oh, hey, he's got four. And I was like, wait, max or what? What? That's insane. I feel like it definitely wasn't intentional. I don't know how two things get in there, physically. Because um, that means also the deck would have been 53 cards, if you're including those four. Yeah, so that's a 53 carder. I'm not sure if that would come out in the scale if you were checking in the store. Oh, this one weighs 0.1 grams more. Must be a must be a max or a heptad in there. Um, that's madness. That's absolute madness. My other... Okay. The only thing that I distinctly remember that came close is, um, when was this? This was like five or six years ago, uh, when you could still find packs in the store in some cases, and me and my brother went to the mall 
found four packs. He took two, I took two. Um, he opened his two, it was a pack with like nothing special in it, and then a super rare, um, a flag amp, the flu morph. Uh, he opened his two first, and then I opened my two. I didn't expect to get anything, so I thought, oh, that was the super rare in these four packs. I opened the first pack, it had a primal smash in it, and I was like, alright, sick! And the second pack had a Nadger and Flumorphous foe in it, which was not as crazy as this, because I was two packs, two ultras, mathematically possible. This was just like an anomaly that should never happen in terms of like quality management, but fine by me. Really wish I had a sleeve for Heptad here, but um, I don't want to stop the video. Um, yeah, uh, I should just, I don't know, like, I've watched a lot of unboxing videos, yeah, I've seen, I'm not sure if I've watched all of them, but like, I'm sure, you know, people pull Maxor, people pull Heor, I don't know if I've seen anybody pull an Ursus, I think they've, they've all just been pulled and now they're on eBay for sale for like $300. Um, but yeah, that's, you know, I, there's videos, my previous videos, I pulled a Hey, or the Fierce, I pulled like a, you know, a premium foil Blazin Tan, which isn't really anything to get excited about. Uh, I pulled a Core Roar. Um, yeah, but nothing like this. This this is going to be number one. Okay, Liquidizer again. Skeletal Strike. Cool, cool, cool. Zalik. Another Lava Lanch. Okay. It's still a good day regardless of what happens, so that's fine. Um, but I would like... Uh, what's it called? Hailstorm, Toxic Gust. Those ones. Okay. No, I think we got everything out of this. I think everybody. No, not Toxis. Zora could use another version. Kraken Hearing got second versions. So did Scythia. Not Toxis. Um, in terms of Donna Param, he was pretty good. He's got. 80 power, 2 music counters, fire, and decent energy. Um, which is why Underworlders ruled Don of Param. Because the Overworld creatures were actually garbage. Like, Lorena has like 20 energy. Simeon, he was okay. Relin was okay. Frafto has great stats, but 30 energy, so you can't do much with that. Um... I'm crinkling this box, unfortunately. Oh gosh. Open. Okay. Last one, guys. So, doesn't matter what's in here. It could be, I don't know, what's it done? It could be Yakis. It could be, what's well, something I have a bunch of? It could be another Crossectus. I don't care what's in here. This has been an excellent pull. This has been fantastic. Um, it's been fantastic that, you know, the person at the store, that they had um, several boxes. They just picked one and then put it into a cart, set it aside for my order. And it happened to be the one with uh, Max or Hattet. Imagine if some other person without a YouTube channel was just sitting at home opening boxes. I'm sure, you know, if they're on the Discord, they would have freaked out and told us, as I'm about to do, but it wouldn't have been on camera. Now, I'm not, I'm sure no one would lie about such a ridiculous thing as pulling two ultra-rare cards from a chaotic deck. We're not that kind of people. Um, but just for my own joy, years from now, I'll be... Uh, let's check four and see why not. Years from now, I'll be able to go back and see the time when I pulled Maxor and Heptad together from the same box. I showed them in the same box. I might have to do another um, IRL deck because I've done like 50 different elementalists. Um, I play on Recode now with Heptad all the time just because why wouldn't I? As with most cards that I don't have, I have like three Ursus decks. Um, but now I can finally in real life do a full elementalist. I think I have all the attacks you would need. This is the Ultra or the Super. Uh, but I can finally show, hey, this is how you do this, and this is with Heptan. Okay. That's the Game Tips card. Alright, so that's just the too many. Zalik. 
goes with Skeletal Strike, goes with Liquidizer. It's a location. What location is it? Underworld City! Okay. I do have one. I don't have two. So this is good. This is fun. When an Underworld creature makes an attack, that attack gains Challenge Power 15, deal 5 damage. Uh, so no Glacier Plains. I forget whether Dranicus Threshold is in here. I have some like Ripple Dranicus Thresholds, or the Foil, the Gold Foil, Shatter Foil. Um, I have that for Castle Bodron as well. Um, but yeah, Underworld City is good. Alright, so let me just take a moment, um, collect everything up. We'll do a quick summary. And of course, I will show the good pulls again. I, I don't know how loud you can hear my cat in the background. I apologize. Um, he's not locked in like the basement or something. I'm in the basement. He's upstairs with all his food and stuff. So if anyone should be complaining, it's me. Um, this was an excellent, excellent. Um, I don't really care about the rares and stuff. I can go through them quickly for you guys. This, I'm going to check class later. This just seems ridiculous. This has to be a misprint. I know I've seen class with 60. Uh, this is possible, I guess. His average could be 65. This is just max. But this seems ridiculous. Like, he's instantly the best, like a great fighter. <laughs> as much energy as Kaor. That is insane. Um, go clasp. Go clasp. Song of Gionova, Q City. Um, I'm not sure how many Song of Asperities I had. I know I have a bunch of, like, just Dawn of Param rares. The cat just sounds really loud. Now. Um... This also seems insane. This does not seem right. Okay, just took a minute to get all the supers. That's a rare. Ah, I really wish I had my good sleeves, so I don't have to hold my thumb over the thing. Okay, so let me just put these into supers and ultras. So three ultras at last count, um, and you get one super per, plus our additional card, which is fantastic. Okay. I don't know what time I started. It's 3.30 in the morning now. Doesn't matter. Okay, Let's zoom in real nice. So, just a bit further. Lava Lanch, times two. Nice. Web Crack. One of my favorite battle gears, so can't complain. Crossectus. I've lost count how many Crossectus I have. Underworld City. Great location. Now I have two. Can't complain. Takinam. I'm sure I've talked about, maybe from videos from a long, long time ago, but she's just the biggest disappointment. She's throwing a fireball. Distinct lack of fire. That just, like... I remember, um, if you're on the Discord server, Dragonix, who's a guy who used to work on, like, on the original Chaotic team, um, like, with the company, with Brian Gannon and all those guys. I asked him, and I can't remember the answer I got, but it was just something like, oh yeah, that was, like, a, a misstep or a mistake or... We didn't think or something. It's just like it's right there. That always just bothered me. Riverland Star, like this gear. Uh, can't have too many ripple cards. Drachnus. I always seem to pull Drachnus. Like the first time I ever got a Dawn of Param starter, Drachnus. The video from a few years ago, Drachnus. Drachnus again. Lake Canopo. Really pleased with this one. Always wanted it. Never even seen one in real life. I don't think. Um, sorry about the glare. That's a great shot. Above the Placid Waters, Nadrin's Castle Towers, A Dim Light Flickers, and A Mystery is Born. Great text, too. Um, but of course, the winners of the day. How close can I get? We got Maxor, we got Heptad, we got them together at once. You guys saw it. Two cards in the front of the starter deck pulled together. Ripple Heptad. Ripple Heptad. I can't believe I'm saying those words. 
I, you know, every once in a while, I'll go online, check the prices of Heptad, it's like 100 US dollars or something, plus shipping, not worth it, you know, and then you see people who have like 12 Heptads, I won't ever have 12, I'm pretty certain of that, but I have one, this one, my Heptad, and as well, a Ripple Maxor to boot isn't bad either. I have a couple gold foil Maxors, but it's just not the same. I was almost able to get a Ripple Maxor uh, off a guy online, but the deal fell through. Um, so I guess I could just make this the thumbnail. These two together. Or something else. Gotta stop doing that. Excellent, excellent. Alright, so I'm sure the runtime is like an hour or something right now. Um, if you just skip to the end, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you watched the whole, watch the whole freaking thing, thanks for your viewership. I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, I love running into you guys um, on Recode in the uh, server, talking with you guys. Um, thanks a lot for uh, keeping up. I hope everyone is safe and well. I'm Steve Plare. I think we'll just end on the money shot. Uh, have an excellent day, and I will see you next time. Peace, everybody. Excellent.